What if I told you that fewer than two out of every 100 people on Earth have green eyes? That makes them rarer than red hair and even less common than having two different eye colors. But why are green eyes so rare? And what makes them so mesmerizing to look at? Today, we're diving into the science, history and mythology behind this stunning eye color. Before we start, I'm on a road to get 1,000 subscribers as a small channel. If you want to help me, please subscribe. Green eyes have captured human imagination for centuries. Some say they're magical, others think they hold secrets. But beyond all the myths lies a surprising truth. Green eyes aren't really green at all. That's right, there's no green pigment in green eyes. So what are we actually seeing when someone stares back at us with those glowing emerald irises? Here's the mind-bending part. Green eyes don't actually contain any green pigment, so how do they appear green? It all comes down to light scattering and genetics. Eye colour is mainly determined by the amount and distribution of melanin, the same pigment that colours our hair and skin. Brown eyes have lots of melanin, blue eyes have very little, and green eyes, they sit right in the middle. The gene most often credited for controlling eye colour is called OCA2, but it doesn't work alone. Another gene, HERC2, controls how much OCA2 is expressed. Together, these and several other genes interact in a complex dance to produce the exact amount of melanin in your iris. Green eyes happen when there's just enough melanin to scatter light in a way that makes the iris appear green, especially when combined with the yellowish hue produced by a pigment called lipochrome. And here's where it gets even weirder. This entire effect is called Rayleigh scattering, the same phenomenon that makes the sky appear blue. This complex inheritance is why green eyes are so rare. You need just the right mix of genetic factors for them to appear. It's not a simple green eyes gene being passed down. In fact, two brown-eyed parents can technically have a green-eyed child, though it's uncommon. That's how intricate and unpredictable these genetic combinations can be. So the next time someone says you have magical eyes, they're not entirely wrong. The science behind them is pure alchemy, hidden in your DNA. If green eyes are so rare, where in the world are they most likely to show up? Surprisingly, there's a cluster of countries where green eyes are not just present, they're actually pretty common. Think places like Ireland, Scotland and Iceland. In these regions, up to 20 to 30 percent of the population may have green eyes. That's a huge leap from the global average of just 2 percent. Northern and Central Europe seem to be the global hotspot for green eyes. Historians and geneticists believe this distribution traces back to ancient migrations and isolated gene pools. Thousands of years ago, small groups of people with light eye color genes settled in colder climates where darker pigmentation wasn't as necessary for sun protection. Over generations, those light eye color genes, including the ones responsible for green eyes, stuck around and became more common in those areas. Meanwhile, in other parts of the world, like Asia, Africa and the Americas, Green eyes are extremely uncommon. When they do appear, they're often the result of ancestral mixing through migration, colonization, or trade routes that brought diverse genes together in unexpected places. For example, you might meet someone in Brazil or Iran with naturally green eyes due to centuries of population blending. So, while green eyes might be rare on a global scale, they're a beautiful reminder of how genetics, geography, and history intertwine. They tell a story of where your ancestors may have walked, settled and passed on their legacy right through your eyes. Green eyes haven't just caught the attention of scientists. They've fascinated poets, storytellers and mystics for centuries. In folklore and mythology, green eyes often carry deep symbolic meaning. In many cultures, they're associated with mystery, magic and even danger. Ever heard the phrase green-eyed monster? That's not just about jealousy. It reflects a long history of viewing green eyes as intense, unpredictable and powerful. In ancient Egypt, green was the color of rebirth and vitality. Eyes with this hue were thought to hold healing powers or divine insight. In medieval Europe, green-eyed women were sometimes labeled as witches or enchantresses, especially when paired with red hair. Fast forward to today and green eyes are still seen as exotic and captivating. In movies and books, characters with green eyes are often portrayed as clever, independent or rebellious. Whether it's a fantasy heroine or a cunning villain, green-eyed characters usually stand out from the crowd. There's also an unspoken cultural perception that green eyes are somehow more rare and precious. 
This can influence everything from casting in films to beauty trends in contact lenses. People literally try to imitate the look, even if it's not in their genes. So green eyes don't just stand out physically, and they carry a whole world of meaning. They've been seen as magical, mysterious, and even a little dangerous. No wonder people are still drawn to them after all these centuries. Not all green eyes look the same. Some are a soft, hazel-tinted green that seems to glow like moss in the morning light, while others are bold and bright, more emerald than anything else. This variety is one of the reasons green eyes feel so unique. They're not just rare, they're unpredictable. No two pairs look exactly alike, and sometimes they seem to shift colour depending on the light, your mood, or even what you're wearing. This colour shifting effect happens because green eyes don't have green pigment in them. Instead, they rely on the way light scatters in the iris, along with the yellow tones from lipochrome. So, depending on lighting conditions, they might look more blue, grey, or golden green. It's kind of like having built-in colour filters that respond to your environment. Even age can affect how green eyes appear. Some babies are born with blue or grey eyes that slowly shift to green over the first few years of life as melanin levels settle. On the other end of life, some green eyes might fade or appear duller with age. Hormones, health and lifestyle can all play a small part in how vibrant they look from day to day. So when people say green eyes are mysterious, they're not just talking about the myths, they're also talking about how alive and changeable they seem. Like a chameleon, green eyes have a personality all their own, and that makes every shade feel one of a kind. Green eyes are more than just a colour. They're a combination of rare genetics, ancient migrations, optical illusions, and cultural stories that have followed us for centuries. From the scattered gene pools of Northern Europe to the ancient myths of power and magic, green eyes have always stood out, not just for how they look, but for what they represent. They're a symbol of uniqueness in a world full of repetition. What makes them so special isn't just their scarcity, it's the fact that they reflect light differently, that they can shift and shimmer depending on the setting, and that no two people with green eyes ever seem to have the same exact look. They're like living gemstones, constantly catching you off guard, constantly pulling you in. So if you or someone you know has green eyes, take a moment to appreciate just how wild and wonderful that is. It's not just an aesthetic thing. It's a genetic masterpiece, a conversation with history, and maybe, just maybe, a touch of myth brought to life. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed diving into this fascinating topic, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you or someone you know has green eyes, and if you think they're truly as magical as people say.